How safe is your workplace for your employees? This question might seem straightforward, but it's one that every employer needs to ponder deeply. Workplace safety isn't just about hard hats and hazard signs, it's about creating an environment that fosters both physical and emotional well-being, an atmosphere where employees feel valued and protected. Why is this so important? Well, a safer work environment brings a myriad of benefits. It can boost productivity, as employees who feel safe are likely to deliver their best work. It can reduce absenteeism because let's face it, no one wants to call in sick to a place they love. And perhaps most importantly, it can enhance employee morale leading to a more positive, harmonious workplace. We'll be exploring all these aspects in detail, from defining what a safer work environment looks like, to developing safety protocols and enhancing workplace morale. So how exactly can we build a safer work environment? Let's dive in. First, we need to understand what a safer work environment entails. A safer work environment is a multi-dimensional concept. It's not just about hard hats, safety goggles, or ergonomic chairs. Yes, physical safety is crucial, but it's only one piece of the puzzle. A truly safe work environment also caters to the psychological safety of the workforce. It's an environment where employees can express their thoughts and ideas without fear of criticism or retaliation. And let's not forget about a supportive and inclusive culture. This ensures everyone feels valued and included, regardless of their background or personal circumstances. Now none of this can be achieved without the active role of management. Leadership must lead the charge in creating and maintaining this environment. They set the tone, establish the policies and ensure the enforcement of safety standards. Once we understand what a safer work environment looks like, we can begin to implement strategies to achieve it. The first step in creating a safer work environment is developing comprehensive safety protocols. But why are these protocols so vital? Well, they act as a shield, protecting employees from potential hazards, both physical and psychological. Physical safety protocols might include clear marking of emergency exits, regular fire drills, and maintaining a clutter-free workspace. On the other hand, psychological safety protocols could encompass policies that deter workplace bullying and harassment thereby promoting a positive and respectful environment. But it's not just about having these protocols in place. They need to be robust, addressing all potential risks, and flexible enough to adapt to evolving circumstances. Because let's face it, every workplace is unique, and a one-size-fits-all approach just won't cut it. Developing these protocols might seem like a daunting task, but it's an investment that pays off in the long run by fostering a safe, happy, and productive workforce. Remember, safety protocols are most effective when they are clearly communicated and consistently enforced. Clear communication is crucial in creating a safer work environment. It's the lifeline that keeps everyone on the same page, ensuring the safety protocols are understood and followed. But it's more than just dictating rules and regulations. It's about fostering an environment where every voice matters. When employees feel comfortable voicing their concerns or reporting incidents, they become active participants in their own safety. This also empowers them to take accountability and contribute to a safety-conscious culture. It's about building trust, where employees know that their concerns will be heard and addressed promptly. To establish clear communication, it's important to use multiple channels such as meetings, emails, or even a dedicated safety bulletin board. Regularly updating and reminding everyone about safety protocols can also reinforce their importance. Remember, clear communication is a two-way street. Encourage feedback and ideas from employees to continuously improve safety measures. With clear communication, employees will feel more comfortable and secure in their workplace. Training is another vital component in building a safer work environment. It's not enough to merely have comprehensive safety protocols in place. The key to their effectiveness lies in ensuring that every employee is well-versed in these procedures. This is where training steps in, bridging the gap between knowing and doing. Think of training as the lifeblood of your safety protocols. It breathes life into these rules, transforming them from mere words on paper into actions that safeguard your workforce. Whether it's training on how to properly use equipment or workshops on emergency procedures, training ensures that safety isn't an afterthought, but a way of life at the workplace. But remember, training isn't a one and done deal. It's a continuous process. Regular refresher courses and updates are essential to keep safety at the forefront of everyone's minds. After all, complacency is the enemy of safety. Well-trained employees are safer employees. Finally, enhancing workplace morale can significantly contribute to a safer work environment. Now you might be wondering, how does morale correlate with safety? Well, it's simple. 
When employees are happy and feel valued, they are more likely to take an active role in maintaining their safety and that of their colleagues. Let's think about the power of a positive and supportive work culture. Such an environment encourages employees to look out for each other, fostering a sense of collective responsibility. This can be nurtured through team-building activities that promote unity and shared objectives. Moreover, recognizing safe behavior is equally powerful. When employees see that their efforts to uphold safety are noticed and appreciated, it motivates them to continue doing so. It's about creating a culture that values safety as much as productivity. Lastly, don't underestimate the impact of management style. A leadership that genuinely values employee well-being sets the tone for the entire organization. A happy workplace is a safe workplace. Creating a safer work environment is a multifaceted task, but it's well worth the effort. We've traversed a journey together, from defining what a safer work environment looks like, to the nitty-gritty of developing comprehensive safety protocols. Remember, safety isn't a one-man show, it's about establishing clear communication across all levels, ensuring everyone understands their roles and responsibilities in maintaining safety. Training is another crucial component. Providing adequate training to your employees ensures they are well-equipped to handle any safety-related issues that may arise. But let's not forget the human aspect, the need for enhancing workplace morale. A happy employee is a safe employee. By fostering a positive work environment, you're not only improving safety, you're also boosting productivity and job satisfaction. By focusing on these areas, you can create a workplace that is not only safer but also more productive and enjoyable for your employees.